This is the ThinkPad T480. It's known to be a durable, dependable, and easily upgradable laptop. ThinkPads have a cult following. You know, people just love them. The T480 is probably one of the most popular models for ThinkPads. I got this one last year from Facebook Marketplace. This particular model has an i7-8650U, which has four cores and eight threads. It came with eight gigs of RAM, but I was able to upgrade it to 16 gigs. And it has a 256 gig NVMe drive. Uh, this model also has a dedicated GPU, the NVIDIA MX150, which has two gigs of VRAM, which isn't a whole lot, but it's definitely a step up from integrated graphics. And just like everyone else, I love my ThinkPad. In my house, it's used mainly as a family computer that everyone uses. Uh, I like to use it for notes and research, and my wife has used it for work from time to time. I can also use it for some light gaming. Uh, I can even play Fortnite on this as long as I put the settings down to like performance mode. The best part of this laptop was the price. I only paid 150 bucks for this. So I only use Windows 11 on my ThinkPad, but a lot of ThinkPad owners swear by Linux and only use Linux on their ThinkPads. So today I'm going to try Linux on the T480. Of course, there are tons of Linux distros to choose from. But today, I'm going to try Zorin OS on this. Recently tried Zorin on an old Dell Optiplex. I did have a few issues with, you know, web browsing or browsing the web with it. Uh, but I believe in second chances, so you can check out that video in the link below. Uh, but I am going to give Zorin OS another try on this ThinkPad. Now, I don't want to wipe out my Windows 11 install, so I'm going to use Zorin from a 2.5 inch SSD that I already have Zorin installed on. I'm going to boot from this drive through a USB port using a SATA 2 USB adapter. All right, so let's try this out. I got the Zorin drive hooked up. Uh, I'm going to restart the laptop and try to get to the boot menu so I can boot from this drive. Now, all I want to do is see if I can browse the web with Zorin, you know, watch some YouTube videos, check emails, you know, the basic office test stuff. Uh, but I'm also going to try some gaming, although I never had much luck with gaming on Linux besides emulation, but I'm still going to give it a try. So let's uh, let's restart the, the ThinkPad. So I am going to speed this part up just a little. And I thought I had to just hit F12 to get to the boot menu, uh, but that ends up not working. So looks like all I have to do is actually hit enter when it's starting up. So uh, let's try this again. All right, we are restarting again. And now when I get to the part where it says press enter for setup utility, I'm going to hit enter. All right, I'm going to hit enter right here. Hit it a couple times. All right, now we're at startup interrupt menu. Um, so now I have to hit F12 to get to temporary boot menu. All right, there we go. Now I see my USB uh, drive, that uh, second one, that T-Force drive. So I'm just going to boot from there. All right, I am going to speed this process up a little bit, but it does take about 50 seconds to boot from the 2.5 inch SSD drive. And you see the little Zorin logo has popped up there. So it looks like we are good to go. I already have a login set up here, so there it is. So I could easily just log in. I'm going to do that right now. And we are now in the Zorin desktop environment, so we are good to go. All right, so uh, let's take a look around Zorin OS. So if I click down here on the bottom left, I can access my file explorer here. Going on the bottom right here, I can access my calendar. And on the bottom right here, we have some settings options. Uh, you know, I could change the brightness, I could change the volume, We've got Wi Fi and Bluetooth. On the bottom left here, we have our little app store. They just call it software. And here I can install, you know, whatever I want and see what I have already installed on the system. And clicking back on the bottom right here, we have uh, access to more settings options. You know, we can change the background, change the appearance if we want. Uh, we also have some multitasking options here as well. So it's very, uh, very customizable, which is nice. 
I'm going to go ahead and change the uh, background here. So I'm going to choose something else. And I'm just going to go with this one. All right, let's try some web browsing now. I'm on uh, Google Chrome. I'm just going to go to the ESPN website. There's always, you know, a lot of stuff going on here, a lot to load in. And as you can see, everything loaded in pretty quickly. It's very snappy, uh, scrolling up and down, uh, pretty smooth. All right, let's open up another tab and check out another website. Uh, I'm going to go to the Mets website here, and we're going to see what the Mets are doing in the offseason. And again, this page, just like ESPN, has just a lot to load in and a lot going on. But everything loaded in pretty quickly here. All right, let's try to watch some videos now on YouTube. Don't think we're going to have any problems with this. In today's video, we're checking out a new mini PC from Ace Magic. And honestly, I absolutely love the name of this terabyte NVMe SSD. Up front here, we have USB. As you can see, streaming videos from YouTube looks good. Uh, the T480 has a 1080p screen, and it looks great to me, in my opinion. Now let's see if I could play a game on Zorin. Now, sometimes gaming on Linux just isn't the easiest thing to do. I have the compatibility option here set to Proton Experimental. I'm not sure if this will work. I'm just going to try an older game, Dirt 4, see if we can do some driving around in Dirt 4. Let's see if this works. All right, so Dirt 4 did load in. It did take a while for it to get going. Um, but unfortunately, the controller I am using is not working. I'm using this GameSir controller, which is a great controller. But uh, I have it hooked up with a wired cable, and uh, it's just not working at all. I did end up going into the controller settings, and I still had uh, issues with it. So not sure what was going on here. Next, I tried some cloud gaming with uh, xCloud or Xbox Cloud Gaming, whatever they call it now nowadays. Um, when I got to this part in Fortnite where it says adjust your screen's uh, safe zone, uh, again, the controller was not working at all. However, I then decided to try another controller. I tried my Xbox controller, and then that did the trick. I was able to go in and adjust uh, this setting and then uh, start playing a game, which I'll show right now. Here I am in the lobby, and I just wanted to show you guys uh, the response time. Remember, this is cloud gaming, so there's the response time when, you know, shooting my weapon. And I gotta say, playing Fortnite via the cloud is a pretty, you know, decent experience. It's not too bad at all. So after changing the controller to the Xbox controller, I went back and tried Dirt 4 again. And uh, I did get it to run. But as you can see, it's uh, pretty unplayable at this point. All right, so that's Zorin OS on the ThinkPad T480. Uh, a nice alternative if you don't want to bother with Windows 11, which I totally get if you don't. Uh, as long as you don't want a game, Zorin is a good option. Uh, then again, the T480 really, you know, it's not for gaming anyway. Uh, if you have a ThinkPad or laptop with Linux, let me know what your, your experience is like. Uh, but that's going to do it for this video. Please hit that like and subscribe button. I would appreciate it. Thanks for watching.